Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my plan with me for the week of October 22nd through October 28th and this is um, going to be a memory spread which is what I've been doing in my Erin Condren lately. So the kit I have for this week is so pretty and so perfect for fall. This is from Paper Dove Shop. I did share this in a recent haul so hopefully you got to catch that um, but I think this kit is so gorgeous and I really love the artwork that Paper Dove Shop uses and um, so so here we have eight full boxes and then the sidebar tracker at the bottom. It's a mini kit so it only came with the three sheets. On this page we have all the functional items like the bill due, habit tracker, some heart checklist icons, a planner, um, six half boxes, three quarter boxes, and then today and to do headers. And then on this page, we have the bottom washi, which is so pretty with this like watercolor pattern. We've got the matching date covers and then some washi strips here along the sides and the really pretty and dainty weekend banner at the bottom. So again, this is the mini kit format. So it only comes with three sheets, but I hope that's enough for my planning. And um, as usual, I'm going to start by putting down my bottom washi. For this week, I decided to trim off a little bit of the bottom washi because it was pretty thick and it would have taken up the entire space at the bottom. And those of you who have been watching me plan for a while know that I do like having some breathing room, so I usually will leave a little white space above and below the bottom washi. Then moving to my sidebar, I decided to choose the Fashion Girl as my top corner box. I feel like that box is just kind of different from the other ones, so that would be a perfect like corner box for me. Usually that's how I choose them if I don't have like a quote box. And then I put down all of the date covers that came with the kit and whited out the flags on the top corners of my Erin Condren planner. For the flag on the right hand side, I decided not to cover it up with anything. I just left it whited out. And then on the left hand side, I did find a functional flag icon that I had in my collection and uh, I felt like that green color matched pretty well. Then continuing with my sidebar, I pulled in glitter headers from Mandy Dreams this week because she always has glitter headers to match. Um, then I put down the habit tracker for my working out. I used a strip of washi from the kit with a heart icon to mark all the happy moments of the week. And um, I used a heart checklist from the kit. Then underneath that, I used another washi strip with the Monday through Sunday box from the kit to mark all my dinners for the week. There was a little bit of extra room at the bottom. So I did put down, um, I think that was like what was left over from one of the washi strips that I cut and it fit perfectly in that little spot at the bottom. On Monday, I started by putting down a glitter header at the top, and then instead of my usual Starbucks that I grab on Monday mornings, I actually went to 85 Bakery and got some sea salt iced coffee, which was super good. Um, that coffee sticker is from Paper and Milk, and it's so cute and perfect for fall. And then I wanted to mark that I didn't have any meetings on that day, um, so I used an asterisk icon from the kit, and I brush lettered no meetings with my Zebra uh, brush lettering pen. Underneath that, I did want to mark that I left a little early on Monday because, again, I didn't have a meeting and um, I had finished up everything that I needed to get done. So I used a Maru, a Happy Maru the Marshmallow sticker from Paper and Milk. I then put down the full box with a dumbbell sticker from Sunset Sticker Co. to mark that I worked out when I got home. And then I did do some cleaning because I had a friend coming over to stay with us for a couple nights. Um, that quarter box I pulled in was from my leftover stash. And then the cleaning girl icon is from Little Little Star Plans. So my friend who came to stay over brought her cat, whose name is Kashmir. He's so cute. But it was the first time that Pokies had a friend come over. She um, has never really met another cat since she's been with us. And um, we were hoping that they would get along, but they definitely did not like each other very much. Um, luckily, they didn't get into a fight or anything. We were able to separate them, but they were like hissing at each other and stuff. So I pulled in these really cute cat stickers from Once More With Love to mark the two cats. Then I put down a full box at the bottom of Tuesday because I knew that's where I wanted it. Um, at the top of Tuesday, I started by putting down a today header or a to-do header with a two heart checklist that I cut out. Then I wanted to mark our staff meeting, which I put on a quarter box and that is from my leftovers collection. Um, the alarm clock sticker is new for me. Uh, one of my friends gifted me that, so I can't remember which shop it's from. Um, but underneath that, I did use a half box with an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark that I had an IEP that afternoon. 
Originally, I put down a red glitter header underneath, but I decided to lift it up and then I used an orange one on or above the full box instead. I pulled in this red shoe sticker from, I think that's from Sticker Sis to mark that I did my workout when I got home. And then I layered two uh, maroon colored washi strips on top of each other and pulled in an ice cream sticker from Very Cute Designs to mark that I went to get ice cream with my friend who was staying over. So it was really nice to get a chance to catch up with her and everything. So that was fun. Then on Wednesday, I started by putting down a full box at the top. Um, those glasses stickers I put down are from Laven Forest. I did have an observation I had to do at a private school. So I used the glasses to mark the time of the observation, which you'll see at the end. I then put down a glitter header with an appointment label. Um, and after moving them around, I kind of decided I didn't like how that looked. So I pulled in a quarter box from the kit instead. And I also used a takeout box sticker from Plants with Finesse to mark that I went and got some Thai food for lunch after my observation. Um, then I had a really, really long day at work. Uh, there was just a lot that was going on. So I used a washi strip with a frustrated emoji sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. When I got home, I did have to say goodbye to my friend who was staying over. Um, she was actually headed to Shanghai, so she was just staying over and crashing for a few nights before she and her cat um, were moving. And so anyways, I put that on a half box with a um, gold foil heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts. I decided I didn't want the goodbye to also be hand lettered because it was just a little overwhelming. So I ended up whiting it out and writing it in print instead. Then I put down a today header with a workout girl from Tuli Plans to mark my workout. And at the bottom, I found another little label from my leftovers collection that matched this kit pretty well. And I also pulled in a YouTube sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I did some editing that night. Then moving to Thursday, I first put down a Today header, which I later switched out for a glitter header instead. Under that, I put down a quarter box and used a YouTube Girl sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I uploaded my plan with me that morning. Then I used an appointment label with a pencil sticker to mark that I had a morning counseling session with one of my students. That pencil sticker is also uh, one of the sheets that my friend gifted me, so I don't remember where that shop is from. I'm super sorry. Then under that, I used an icon to mark a testing appointment, but at the very end um, it wasn't on camera but I realized that I forgot to mark an IEP I had that afternoon so I do switch it out at the very end I then put down a full box and then under that I used a half box with a pizza sticker from Sweet Ava's Paper to mark that we did a pizza date night on that day. And then at the end of the night, I was super tired this week. I think there was so much going on um, just with my friends staying over and then having some long days at work. So I did end up sleeping early and I pulled in that sleepy emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. This is where I switch out that header at the top for a glitter header instead. I put down a full box on Friday and then I decided um, on Thursday, again, I was just kind of having a difficult week at work. And so I pulled in this like Maru on fire sticker from Paper and Milk and it says, this is fine, um, which is pretty much how I felt just like I'm on fire, but I'm just trying to hold it all together and basically like keep calm and carry on. Um, but anyways, moving back to Friday, I found this really cute pumpkin emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co in my little collection. So I just wanted to pull that in because I thought it matched the kit really well. That TGIF sticker is from Little Red Prince. And then I did get my Friday coffee that morning. Um, so I used a coffee sticker from Paper and Milk. I then put down a quarter box with a bow paper clip sticker from Very Cute Designs to mark a morning meeting that we had. And then I did have another IEP that afternoon, which I put on a half box. And again, that little flag is from Lily Grove Designs. Before I went home, I did go check my P.O. box and got some cool happy mail. Um, so I used a little strip of washi and the envelope sticker is from my peachy printables. I brush lettered happy mail. And then under that, I put down a shoe sticker from Lily Grove Designs to mark that I did a full body workout, um, which was really intense, but I always feel really good after them. So I do, I do enjoy doing them. Um, at the bottom, I put down a today header with a three heart checklist that was from my leftover stash and that nail polish icon is from the sticker party, but it was back when she used to be um, Abundance of Erica. So I'm not sure if she still sells that sticker anymore. 
At this point, I realized that I forgot to include a glitter header on Friday, and I try to include one every day. So I went back up, and when I went to rip up the quarter box, it did get stuck. And so I ended up having to pull out my undo, which was not a big deal. And I was able to stick a glitter header on top of that quarter box. Um, then I replaced the quarter box. I found another one that was the same color and uh, replaced that coffee sticker, which again is from Paper and Milk. For the weekend, I started by putting down um, some washi strips at the top. I layered the dainty weekend banner right over it, which is so pretty. And we actually went to San Diego this weekend. So in the morning on Saturday, we basically packed and then drove down um, to see our friends. The driving girl sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers. Our first stop was to get some tacos and really delicious chicken soup at one of our favorite uh, Mexican spots in San Diego. So I put that on a little label and the taco sticker I think is from Very Cute Designs. We then went and visited my friend who has a baby and the baby is now I think three months old or four months old and she's so cute. I love her so much. Um, so I put that on a half box and the gold foil heart sticker is from Clever Gal Crafts. After visiting my friend, we then went to the beach and walked around um, on the beach for a while. So I pulled in that shoe sticker, which is from K Stickers Co. Um, we also grabbed some beer at Pizza Port, but unfortunately I didn't have enough space to put in a beer sticker as well. Then I put down a glitter header with a washi strip um, to mark that we got Mexican food again with um, another group of our friends. It was so good to see them. It had been a while since we all got together. And that taco sticker is from Hey Soul Sticker. At the bottom, I had um, put down this full box earlier. I did cut off part of the full box so that it would fit nicely and I had enough space to mark everything I wanted. Um, that night, we did go out for some drinks with the friends that we went to dinner with, so then I pulled in a beer sticker from Art Box Stickers. Then moving to Sunday, I started with a Today header at the top. I used a strip of washi with a heart icon from the kit to mark that one of our friends drove down um, to meet us. And then we all went to get tacos at this other taco place that I love. So basically we had Mexican food for every meal that we were in San Diego for. So that was awesome because we don't really have great Mexican food where we live. So whenever we're in San Diego, we just try to get as much as we can. Um, that taco sticker is from a happy blue tree. I then put down a glitter header with a full box and on top of the full box I used a half box to mark that we attended my friend's uh, birthday fundraiser event that she was doing and it was really fun. It was at a brewery so we all just kind of got beers and hung out and caught up with all these other people which was great um, and my favorite part was actually that um, the bartender who was there is a huge Hamilton fan and so he actually had the instrumental version of the Hamilton soundtrack on while we were there and I ended up singing slash like rapping the first few songs with him. So that was pretty epic. Um, then underneath that, I put down an appointment label with a car sticker from a shop that's no longer open, but I use that to mark that we drove home after the event. Before we got home, we stopped to get some groceries. So I used a grocery icon. I think that's from Very Cute Designs. And then I did end up sleeping early that night because I was super tired after all the brewery fun. And so I pulled in the Sleepy Fox sticker, which I think is from May Cause Memories. And that is pretty much it for my week. Um, as usual, I'm just filling out my sidebar at the very end. I do have my phone next to me. You can kind of see it. Um, that's how I track what I do every single day. Um, so I do reference that when I fill out my sidebar. Now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left. I definitely use quite a bit, but um, I'm going to save whatever I have left over um, into my little stash to give away in a couple months. So always be on the lookout for those videos if you're interested. Um, but anyways, this is how my final spread turned out. I think it's so pretty and so perfect for fall. Again, the only thing that I changed off camera was I added the IEP sticker on Thursday um, because I had totally forgotten that I had that meeting. Um, but yeah, I just like my planner to be an accurate reflection of what I actually do. It's really more like a journal or scrapbook um, at this point, which I really enjoy. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. And I just realized right now that I forgot to put in the dates at the top, like I forgot to write in the dates. So I'm going to go and do that right now. Um, and yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I always appreciate the support and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.